A ballistic missile is a type of missile that follows a specific flight path called a ballistic trajectory. This path is like an arc, where the missile goes up into the air, reaches a high point, and then comes back down to hit its target. And short-range ballistic missiles are type of ballistic missiles with a relatively short range, typically less than 1,000 kilometers. These missiles are designed for rapid deployment and can carry various types of warheads. And the ongoing conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan has escalated the need for this kind of advanced missile systems to maintain strategic superiority. In the latest developments, Azerbaijan has been effectively utilizing the LoRa missiles, demonstrating their precision and versatility in various military operations. On the other hand, Armenia is exploring the possibility of acquiring the Prolai missile from India. The introduction of Prolai into Armenia's arsenal could alter the regional balance of power. And today, we will compare two of these short-range ballistic missiles, India's Prolai and Israel's LoRa. The Prolai missile, developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, is a short-range surface-to-surface ballistic missile, with a maximum range of up to 500 kilometers. It is capable of delivering warheads weighing up to 1,000 kilograms, with three specific types of warheads, pre-fragmented, penetration cum blast, and runway denial penetration submunitions. This flexibility in payload options makes Prolai highly adaptable to various mission requirements. On the other hand, the LoRa, stands for Long Range Attack, is a missile system developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, has a slightly shorter range of up to 400 kilometers. LoRa typically carries a single high explosive warhead weighing around 570 kilograms. This substantial payload capacity allows it to inflict significant damage on its targets, but it lacks the variety and flexibility of Prolay's multiple warhead options. In terms of range and warhead, Prolay wins. Regarding accuracy, the Prolay missile uses a combination of inertial navigation systems and satellite guidance for mid-course correction, along with a terminal guidance system that includes a millimeter wave seeker for precise targeting. This combination ensures a circular error probable of less than 10 meters, making it highly effective. The LoRa missile also employs advanced guidance systems to achieve its accuracy. It uses GPS and an electro-optical guidance system for terminal phase targeting. This dual guidance system allows the missile to adjust its trajectory during flight and ensures it hits the target with a CEP of about 10 meters. Therefore, in terms of pure accuracy, they are roughly equal. However, Prolay's use of a millimeter wave seeker in its terminal guidance system might provide a slight edge in certain targeting scenarios. Regarding trajectory and maneuverability, both missiles incorporate features to evade anti-missile defenses. The Prolay missile follows a quasi-ballistic trajectory, which means it combines ballistic and cruise missile features. This type of trajectory allows the missile to change its flight path during mid-course, making it more difficult for enemy defenses to predict and intercept. Additionally, Prolay is capable of performing mid-air maneuvers to avoid detection and interception, thus increasing its chances of reaching the target. On the other hand, LoRa missile also has capabilities designed to defeat missile defenses. It follows a ballistic trajectory but includes terminal maneuverability features that allow it to adjust its path during the final phase of flight. This capability helps LoRa to avoid interception by anti-missile systems. In terms of trajectory and maneuverability, Prolai wins by offering its quasi-ballistic trajectory and the ability to perform mid-air maneuvers throughout its flight path. Regarding launch systems, Prolai missiles are launched from mobile platforms, specifically from canisterized launchers mounted on 12 into 12 and 8 into 8 heavy-duty vehicles. These launchers provide high mobility and rapid deployment capabilities, allowing the missile to be quickly moved and fired from various locations. Each 12 into 12 launcher can carry two Prolai missiles, while the 8 into 8 launcher carries one. On the other hand, the LoRa missile is launched from both land-based and sea-based platforms. On land, it can be launched from truck-mounted systems, which provide mobility and quick deployment. The sea-based option allows LoRa to be fired from naval vessels, giving it a unique operational flexibility. While both missiles offer high mobility and quick deployment on land, LoRa wins in this category due to its dual-platform launch capability. Regarding propulsion system, both the missiles are powered by a solid-fuel rocket motor. This propulsion system provides a high thrust-to-weight ratio, 
Solid fuel rockets are known for their simplicity and reliability, as they can be stored for long periods and are ready to launch on short notice. These are less sensitive to temperature changes compared to liquid fuel rockets, making missiles reliable in both hot and cold environments. So, both are equal in this section. If we talk about cost, each Proline missile costs around $1 million. On the other hand, the LoRa missile is more expensive. Each LoRa missile costs between two to $3 million. In terms of cost, the Proline missile wins. It provides a more budget-friendly option compared to the LoRa missile, making it suitable for countries looking for effective yet affordable tactical ballistic missiles. As of now, the Proline missile is in the early stages of production, the Indian Ministry of Defense has plans to induct around 250 Prilai missiles into the Indian Armed Forces, replacing the aging Prithvi missile systems by the end of 2024. On the other hand, the LoRa missile has been operational for several years. Azerbaijan is one of the key operators of the LoRa missile, having acquired and deployed these systems. In summary, both the Prilai and LoRa missiles are designed to enhance the strategic and tactical capabilities of their respective countries. This Prale's ability to be rapidly deployed and its adaptability to various mission requirements make it a valuable asset for India's defense forces. On the other hand, LoRa, with its precision and versatility in launch platforms, is critical for Israel's defense strategy. And regarding Azerbaijan and Armenia conflict, the LoRa's proven effectiveness and operational flexibility, including its deployment from both land and sea, ensure that Azerbaijan maintains a strategic advantage in its military operations. As Armenia considers acquiring the Prilai missile, the balance of power in the region may shift, emphasizing the importance of these advanced missile systems in contemporary conflict scenarios. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.